Hey everyone, out here for an episode of Kicker Clutch. Today is a U.S. Time Zone edition. I am joined by my friends Fred. Hey yo. Curtain Cop. Hello. And the Bamboozler. Hello. Up next is my corn dried up by Kern Cobb and Hydro. <laughs> this corn dried up is. I played this once. <laughs> that the name sounds incredibly crude. And the the most important part about this track is that it's the hardest track in Zapfist. Validated. Has it got at least one ski check in it? It's got like fourteen speed checks in it. Oh, it's, it's definitely it is definitely it's, the second hardest map then. How long did it take you to validate? Like fifty-five hours? Yeah, fifty-five hours was the validation. And um, could have been could have been much less. I oh. still think I got like very unlucky on it, but. So I'm, I'm expecting people to like cut the validation time by quite a margin, but mm -hmm. if anyone ever plays it, Round is working on it. He it got really... checkpoint seven or something after like I don't know how long. I haven't seen any further progress though, so it could still be a while. I'm just doing it. I'm doing a camera through the level because I'm not making it past like the first few jumps. That's very fair. Yeah. And you got this jump here, and uh, I'm not really sure you would know, but you want to go up and to the right. This it's all sand. Got this little thing you have to lip off here. Got some more ratchet sand tube sections here. <laughs> oh, and I forgot about this part. Here you want to turn into backwards. And from this section on, you stay backwards for a while. I yeah, think. you stay backwards. Yeah. Well, stay you, backwards you turn around a couple times here. here. Yep. You'll see in the validation whether that's there yeah. any indication of when you should turn around. Uh, yeah. I see some arrows start map, pointing the other then... way. I'm not sure if that's an indicator though, because I see like. I see the pieces that mean that you should be going backwards there. But I'm not really sure of the parts where you should I'm not a hundred percent sure where you where you turn around. I don't think you actually can see visi visually. If you play the map and you're actually trying to beat it, then you'll you'll know. So you just have to so it's, die there a few not times. A, not a problem. So you no, just have to have your soul. I, no one's crushed. reading this without taking it into the editor, so not my problem. Flip over to this, to this, to this. Now this is three minutes and twenty seconds long. Jeez. Of pure hell. It. <laughs> pure dried corn. If your if your corn wasn't dry before you played this, it will be after you play this. Oh, that's cute. You put a little GG at the end. Yeah. And those were enough on you. Do you want to rephrase that? Those sandals are you off. <laughs> Yo, where do I get in on that? <laughs> uh, just because there's giant. <laughs> it's by eye. Yeah, but Sandals is giant trees, so... <laughs> oh, well, yeah, everyone, either. everyone knows it's giant trees. The bigger the tree, the harder <laughs> the level. 
Yeah, mm. obviously. No, I, I don't. I don't do these challenge maps. I don't. Damn it! Mm. I know what you should do to make a challenge map. Uh, you're going to create a um, series of inputs and then you're going to base the track around those inputs. Yeah. Not just like sit there and start spamming them, tapping buttons randomly on the macros. Uh, just set up a macro. Yeah, I, I could sit there for like a minute and just randomly tap some buttons on my arrow keys and see what happens. Uh, I wouldn't consider that validated. I feel it would be like, validated. It would be it would be validated. It wouldn't be. Well, in, in, no, in my mind, yeah, it would. Because in my mind, I would just make the macro, build the map around where the cart goes, and then validate it myself. Because Zeke, you can't really rely on just the macro to consistently get you through levels. Yeah. Yeah. So you would have to actually. Do some final testing and maybe a couple tweaking and changing just so it was possible. So does that mean uh, you don't consider it? Um, and if uh, you use uh, the uh, Zekis line, huh? Well, all a macro will do is just set it up so you always get well most of the time get to the same spot. Mm -hmm. How does the... That's basically how just the... like um, building a map with the uh, line tool. Oh, right. The line doesn't really help you beat it, though. Uh, it... It'll help you put objects that aren't in that in that path, though. If that's... I mean, yeah, if... So well, it helps you do. build it for your exact line. And if that's all the macro is doing, then... If you still validate it, then yeah, it's validated. Mm -hmm. I was thinking if you use a macro to complete your track, and that's 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 the only way you've beaten your track, then no, not validated. Oh, it's task map. Yeah, and that's not validated. Proven possible, <laughs> but like same same thing as like I validated in parts. Yeah. I mean, again, the amount of people who fake validations and stuff like that in the past. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't have a recording. Honestly. I, I, I couldn't tell this. This is not only. I know that. For maps of this difficulty, or. No. Oh, yeah. Really? I mean, I mean, anywhere close. Now, didn't. No. Have a video. Yeah, didn't. Now, didn't you mess up your video when you first beat this and had to beat it a second time? Oh, yeah. I, I did rebeat this. <laughs> oh, have a video. <laughs> <laughs> he, I think I forgot, I forgot what, <laughs> something went wrong. He, I, I think he wasn't expecting to finish it or something. I, that, wasn't, was... I wasn't playing. I wasn't <sighs> trying to play from the start. Is what I was doing. Oh uh, no! That so sucks. it wasn't recording. But then he went in a lobby and beat it like his second try. <laughs> it was not a second try. Well, what's it? How long was it? Cookie made it sound like it was pretty quick that he beat it. You know what? It was pretty quick, but it was also like. Felt pretty lucky, and I don't know. It overall just didn't seem like something that would happen. Mm -hmm. But the 55 hours of playing Definitely. made me pretty consistent. I can see that. Uh, owl. Yes. Yeah. Going with the plan. The plan. Uh, the horribly spliced up uh, fake validation that um, you're going to put in instead. Oh yeah, yeah. You could like kind of cheat to. We're gonna cut it up, change the time and stuff on it for sure. Oh, it'll be like a little. Uh, I'm gonna just paste a fake box <laughs> over the time at numerous points. Just do it really, really scuffed. Yeah, yeah, totally scuffed. <laughs> like it's got like a different background on it and stuff like that. It's gonna be from it's like a totally different level. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you see, um, 
Hello, just wanted to say a couple of important things before getting into the validation run. So first, there is a bounty on this for the first three people to finish the map. First is $60, second is $40, and third is $20. This was sponsored by Cookie, so my biggest thanks goes to them. But I also want to thank Hydra for helping with building this. So, link to his YouTube and Twitch below. Plenty of challenging maps for all these four players going. No fucking way. No way. <laughs> what? Did you just finish it? Yeah. Uh, you just. You just wait. Did you really just finish fucking drug yeah. porn? Yeah. Again. <laughs> Checkpoint three to four. Yeah, checkpoint three to four. We'll place it with a um, doing a grass background somewhere. Uh, yeah. no, um, no, checkpoint three to four. We'll place it with um, a clip from a uh, jungle jam three. <laughs> do do that shit on paint as well. You do like the freehand grab thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I got that got a kick from you. I, I 
I'd probably eat chow and just difficult. I mean, that's like that. I but mean, yeah, like, I, ain't got, I ain't got that time. Like, this is what I gotta say. Like, congrats, Kern. You're a lunatic for, for doing that. <laughs> and, uh, I will never, I don't think I'll ever spend 55 hours on, on one level. So <laughs> good, good on you for doing that. Um, my whole way that I vote kicker clutch is whether I want to play the level again and I don't ever want to see that <laughs> level again so yeah, <laughs> I, I just really don't like challenge maps like that <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have that current willpower to spend 55 hours on <laughs> on one level <laughs> I get, oh. I get, I get bored in a seven-minute lobby, but the end of the like, I'm like, I can't do this in like 10, 15 minutes. I mean, there's like some levels that I'll grind for like 35, 45 minutes, like maybe an hour or two. But like, once you start getting like past like two hours or something like that, then it's just like, dude, dude. Like when Kern, like the thing is, when Kern says it took him 55 hours, that's just insane. Like, mm-hmm. like because Kern's I, I fifty-five him, hours would yeah. probably be like eighty-five hours for me, if I'm lucky. <laughs> like you, you can compare like how long I spent on JJ three. Like I spent fifteen hours on JJ three. Sandals spent thirty. Round spent forty. Yeah. And on this, even though I did get unlucky, it's it's possible that someone spends longer than I did. Very possible. Yeah. So. I am not gonna ever finish. My corn is right up. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> One final thing I'll mention is there is a bounty on this, sponsored by Cookie. Ooh. Sixty dollars, forty dollars, twenty dollars for the first three finishers. Nice. I don't know. Well, you've already finished in the lobby, so. Sixty dollars. <laughs> I might. I might. I might play this now. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a great hourly rate. It's it's gonna be like seventy five cents an hour. (laughs) (laughs) It's better than nothing. Sure. No, that's it's nice to have a a bounty on level. I'm sure that will definitely uh, influence some people play it. It's always nice to get a little (laughs) cash for playing a video game. Yeah. So uh, let's get let's see what the tally is here. We have one, two, three, four. Four clutch votes. And as Nate said, he always clutches Kern. <laughs> and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen kicks, I think. Uh, unless I counted wrong. It's a lot of kicks to very little clutches, so sorry, Kern. It's a kick. Bye, Kern. <laughs> <laughs>